Champaign County begins the process of reopening its economy this week. A statistical model reminds us that there are costs to be paid. As CBS4's Russ McQuaid reports, the numbers show us it's a balancing act between lives and dollars. Soon many of these Indianapolis businesses will flip their signs around to read open, finally. It's been nearly two months since the coronavirus claimed its first Hoosier and business victims. Marion County will be among the last in the state to tell its residents it's okay to come out of the house and circulate again in moderation. But there is a risk to reopening. And finding the sweet spot is tricky. It's you know related not only to the social distancing, the partial or the degree of lockdown, but also the degree to which there are behaviors associated with wearing masks. An economic forecast model developed by the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania predicts that if Indiana fully reopens in the next couple months and everybody returns to their pre-pandemic social distancing behavior, our gross domestic product will still fall 9.5% compared to a year ago and jobs will start coming back a lot faster. So full reopening means that we uh, we get to uh, even job destruction creation uh, sooner than a partial reopening. I think that's a, that's a good critical takeaway for, for people to understand. But our infection rate would explode to more than 373,000 by midsummer, with more than 23,000 deaths in Indiana. Right now, the confirmed mortality total stands at 1,607, 477 of them in Marion County. And, of course, analysts say reopening too much too quickly would leave Indiana vulnerable to a second wave of infection that would put the state flat on its back just as it was crawling up off the mat. I think that second punch will definitely have some extraordinary ripple effects in for businesses, small businesses, for example, their employees, for example, that were on the, the knife edge as it, as it was. As a state dependent on agriculture and manufacturing, analysts predict that Indiana would do better than many tourism states, but that doesn't help central Indiana, where some 83,000 people draw paychecks related to the convention, visitor, and light entertainment and dining sectors. Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News. Well, many businesses in Marion County opened their doors back up this weekend. Restaurants specifically will still have to wait. They can reopen at 50% capacity for outdoor dining beginning May 22nd and can reopen inside dining starting June 1st.